What's going on everybody? Jerry with 3DHP and I got a quick video. I want to talk about my Haltian 60 watt Mopa fiber laser that I got a few months ago and I'm learning about and I love it. But I've got pretty much everything set up that I need for it. But if I go to cut material, how am I going to do that? I don't have anything to keep it up off of the grid, so I don't, you know, I got to space it. Got to have some sort of a spacer. And that isn't something you can 3D print because it's going to get too hot and it's going to melt. And I am a 3D printing guy, but I definitely would not 3D print something like that. And uh, my friend Jeremy at HTL Customs had a really awesome idea that I see he's been doing. So this idea I got from him. I'm, like I say, I'm new to this. And a lot of people go out and spend a great deal of money on a great big vise like this. This is made for a drill press, came from Harbor Freight. Now, this can ha technically hold work. It's got a slot there, but if you're going to cut outside of that area, you would need a slot in the sides here to hold your material. That way it would keep it risen up. You can set this on there, lay your card, your metal, your steel, your stainless, copper, whatever it is you want to cut out earrings or whatever you're making, and you could use a couple magnets on top of this and you could hold the work down and that would work. It would space it up off with a build plate. That would work perfectly fine. But there's a better idea. I got all these little jigs here. I got two jigs that came with a laser for you know, setting up your material precisely where you want it. What Jeremy has done, he has a couple extra one of these and he simply doubles them up. So he puts the two down on either side of his work lays his work down and puts a second one right on top of it and he clamps it down with the four bolts. That way he can cut it completely out. It's spaced up off, off the bed and it works perfectly fine. So I looked online trying to find something like that and I found one place that has some look almost identical to this. They're like $10 to $15 for the pair. And I threw them in my cart and I went to buy them and it's like, wow, $20 shipping? No, I don't think so. I'm not paying $20 shipping for these two little aluminum bars. And I kept looking around, couldn't find anything, and then I got on Amazon and I was checking for some aluminum bar. And I found a couple pieces here that were half inch square. There's two of them. They're 12 inches long. And I'll show a link here on the screen. I'll show, show you a picture. These are like 11 bucks. Free shipping because I have Prime. But I have to cut them down. So we're going to jump out front right now. I'm going to cut them down. I'm going to put them in my little drill press I have. I'll pre-drill them. Then when I'm all done, these are a hair larger than these, but it's not going to matter as long as they hit, the holes are precisely drilled in the right place. You can put your work in between, and you can clamp down left and right side, and you're good to go. So this is just kind of an informative video on an idea that I've seen out there where I got the material and how I'm going to do it. Uh, sure, this machine costs a buttload of money, and you can go out and buy a real fancy vise to match it, but I don't have a buttload of money to go with this fancy machine that I have. So I'm going to cut corners and I'm going to make something that's going to work perfectly fine. Why spend money when you don't have to? So let's jump out in the shop right now and we'll all get cutting. Okay, I went ahead and I marked the bar with the one off the fiber laser. Get the correct length. And then once that's cut, then I'll mark the second one. Went over with a pencil. So be sure you wear your gloves, safety glasses. I've got a Diablo blade on here and that should go buzz right through it slowly. But no problem. Got a light on it so I can line it up perfectly next to where I'm working. Aluminum particles everywhere. Yeah, cut it like butter. Just took it nice and slow. And let me mark the second, score the second one, I'll cut it again. Any sharp edges I'll just sand off. All 
Alrighty, we got aluminum shavings actually everywhere. Be quite a mess to clean up, plus oil. Wipe up what I can and then shot back it. So got a little some burring on the back side here. I got to clean up. Take a file to that and clean that up. Wipe it off. And then we'll be back in the house. But two down, ready. We're good to go. So hopefully the holes line up and everything will be perfect. Okay, let's take a look and see what we got here. Now, those bolts that are in there just for show, mine are too short. They don't grab, so I need to order me some longer uh, bolts off Amazon. But that's basically how it would work. Now, you don't obviously you, when you cut that, you don't want to burn your bed underneath it. Uh, so I would lay you lay some material, piece of scrap metal or something in that slot or in that area. Because you obviously don't want to burn it and tear it up, mark it up. But that's basically what we got here. We got the two of them together. The sandwich is in pretty much whatever you put in there. Just have longer bolts and that way it'll squeeze it together. But yeah, that's it. And let's see, I got my air assist. I got my extra fans. I got my increased uh, exhaust system. And this is a Houtian 60 watt fiber laser JPT MOPA. And if you're interested in something like this, uh, contact uh, Pascal Lou. There will be a link to him down below in the description if you'd like to check out this machine or anything like it. It is definitely a commercial machine, beautiful machine, nice unit. And I'm still learning how to do this and do that. But I got a lot of, a lot of learning to go, but I'll get it all figured out. And then next to it, we got our Lasermatic MK2. So, yeah, that's the best diode on the, on the planet right there. That's a 10 slash 20 watt. And if we're interested in something like this, there'll be an affiliate link down below in the description. And I will get a small commission if you choose to use my link to buy this. Beautiful machine. Love it. But if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And thank you very much to all my channel members. I'll have them right here on the screen. And I guess that's about it, guys. So I hope you liked the video. hope you might have learned something or gave you some ideas. Until next time, you have an awesome day. Later.